With the multivariable Taylor series approximation, it is possible to obtain an approximation of a differentiable function at a specific point. The formula on the slide stands for the second order multivariable Taylor series approximation. We will see shortly that this is actually a very simple formula. We will consider an example where we derive every term in this formula, and as we add more terms, we will observe the graphs of the original function and our approximation. We will find the approximation at the origin for the function at the top. As seen from the formula on the bottom, the first term is simply the value of the function at the point that we are trying to approximate. And the value of our function at the origin is zero. Let's now observe the graphs. The green plot is of the original function. And the yellow plot is of our approximation. So far, our approximation equals the original function only at the origin, and as we move further from the origin, the difference between the values produced by the approximation and the original function grows drastically. But approximation becomes more accurate, as we add more terms. The second term, is the dot product of the gradient of the original function, and the result of subtraction of our point of interest from the input vector. Since in our case we are trying to find the approximation at the origin, there is no need for subtraction. We will just have to find the gradient of the original function, evaluate it at the origin, and then find the dot product. All of these calculations are displayed on the slide. And as a result, we obtain the first order Taylor series approximation. Let's now observe how the graph of our approximation has changed. Unlike our previous approximation, this one correctly captures the slope of the original function at the origin. We will now add one more term and obtain the second order Taylor series approximation, which will more closely resemble the original function near the origin. For our final term, we'll have to find the value of the Hessian matrix at the point we are approximating, take the dot product two times, and divide result by two. All the necessary calculations are displayed on the slide. First, the Hessian matrix is derived, then it is evaluated at the origin. After that, the dot products and division by 2 is performed. The result of all these operations is added to our first order approximation, and we obtain the second order Taylor series approximation. Let's now observe how the graph of our approximation has changed. As we can see, our second order approximation very closely resembles the original function at the origin. It captured not only the slope at the origin of the original function, but also its curvature.